Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to be with you. I'm here at Gretsch Motor Company, and we get to go over the Gretsch Strata Ion RV. Gorgeous, luxury, Class B van. It's the highest quality out there in the market, at least the highest quality that I've seen. Um, I can't wait to show you all the features. It's basically the Rolls Royce of B vans. The Strata sits on the Mercedes 3500 chassis. Now Mercedes makes two, the 3500 and the 2500. You can always tell if you've got the 3500 because you're gonna have the dual wheels in the rear, whereas the 2500 will give you the two wheels in the rear. This gives you a nice heavy chassis, great ride. Also, you get the six cylinder diesel engine from Mercedes. This is 24 feet long. And normally at this point, I would show you everything underneath the hood here, but today we get to do something I've never done before. We're actually gonna go underneath the chassis. You can see how Gretsch builds quality in from the chassis undercarriage to the very top of their unit. So exciting, let's go take a look. So like I said, this is the first time I ever get to be underneath the chassis. So thank you, Gretch. Um, this is great and this is exciting for you to be able to see this with me. So here we have the 280 amp Nations alternator, which charges your lithium ion batteries at idle. So you can be dry camping off the grid and you can charge your batteries. So that's a really big deal. There's a lot of other systems out there that you actually have to drive the van to charge the batteries. So at idle, they're gonna charge. Now you're gonna notice that everything that Gretsch installs um, for support is stainless steel underneath the chassis. So right here, we've got the supports here for our entry step and our other entry step. Um, brackets here for that molding. Everything is nice. And you see that's not gonna move at all because they've got these stainless steel supports and you're not gonna have rust on those stainless steel supports, so that's huge. Even on your um, freshwater tank here, it's supported here by the stainless steel brackets as well. This is not your typical rotocast um, freshwater tank. It's 3D printed, so it's very strong. It's exact to the measurements that they wanted. And then we have the heat pad here. So um, there's a button inside the coach on your flyer, Firefly system. As long as you have that on, this will automatically turn on if it gets too cold and it will turn off once it's warm. So that's a really nice feature. And then right across from it here, we've got our gray tank. Again, that's 3D printed um, as well. And it's 27 gallons with a heat pad on it. Um, again, You've got that button on inside, it will come on automatically when it gets too cold and turn off when it's warm. You also have the three inch um, drains for your gray and your black tank here, which is really nice. And your freshwater tank lines are insulated. So you can see here we've got insulation. Here's the automatic reel for your macerator tank, which is, I'll show you more about that later. I love that too insulated um, hot and cold point drains. And then we've got our timber line system, which again is our on-demand hot water and our furnace for the coach. Here they've insulated so that, that um, the exhaust doesn't make your piping here too warm. And then this is where they reroute the exhaust rather than it going to the back, they reroute it to the side of the coach because we have our air suspension that they've added to the coach in the rear. So automatic air suspension on the Stratus. Along with the added insulation here and up here, check out how nice and tidy everything is underneath this chassis. And that's not the case with all vans, I promise you. Everything is secured, zip tied, like nothing's dangling hanging, uh, everything's protected, even that edge right there, everything's secure, nothing's gonna move, and it's all just where it's supposed to be. I mean, zip ties, no wires that are exposed or hanging, everything's in a loom, it's just really nice. 
Now that you've seen the quality on the underside of Gretsch's chassis, let's go ahead and take a look and see what you get with the Mercedes. So right inside here, we've got the negative jump start terminal and your positive here. Right above that, we have our brake fluid and then we have our windshield wiper fluid. Now, typically you'll see power steering fluid. This is electric power steering, so you're not going to see that in here. So you go over to this side, we've got our oil fuel fill. We don't have a dipstick with a Mercedes-Benz chassis um, because you're going to see that reading at the dash. And then we've got our coolant for the system, our air intake for our engine. And then just over here to the side, we have the wake speed regulator that you just saw underneath the chassis, which works with the lithium ion system. And then we've got our DEF fluid up front. So that's going to be your diesel exhaust fluid. You want to make sure that um, you realize that there is a shelf life for your DEF. Typically one year doesn't like sunlight, doesn't like heat. So if you put in bad DEF, you're going to throw some bad engine codes. So you want to stay away from that. The Strata comes in three different colors. You can do the gray white, which is what we have here, the Tannerite gray and the Iridium silver. Now from the very top of the coach, we're gonna look at the antenna for the radio. Then we've got the nice big windshield. This is what you're gonna see the beautiful country through. The very top of the windshield, you're gonna see right in the center, there's a round dot. That's your rain sensor for your rain sensing uh, windshield wipers. And then we've got the another little kind of triangle there. That's gonna be um, part of your collision mitigation system and your warning at actually reads some of the street signs. So I'll go over that more when I'm at the dash. Then we come down here, we've got our nice Mercedes symbol, our LED headlights. We've got the step up here so you can wash your windshield. And then right in the middle of that, we've got the sensor for your adaptive cruise control. We have our parking sensors along the front of the B van. And then behind this little square here is the tow hook if you ever need to be towed. As I come around the side of the van, we've got the exterior mirrors. So those are internally controlled and heated. We've got our camera system. So when you turn on your turn signal, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of the side of the van. Then just below that, notice the beautiful polished aluminum wheels here. Also, we've got the Gretsch logo there in the center, which I love. I also th think it's great that they've put it in the stainless steel trim here that goes along the bottom of the coach just looks fantastic. Now, one of the things that you can see in my factory tour video is how this piece of molding comes in, Gretsch takes it off, they're gonna paint it, then they reinstall it, add the stainless steel trim, make sure you go and check that out. One of the things I want you to notice as we go along this B van is that there are no cutouts. There's no cutouts cutouts on the passenger side of the van. So along with this beautiful stainless steel trim, no cutouts, check out the integrated awning. I'm not, I don't think that there's anyone that does it better um, on a B van. This makes me feel like my class A diesels where we have the nice integrated awning. awning. It looks the same on that B van, it just kind of goes away. And then down at the bottom, they've added this whole trim piece at the bottom. Now, just want to show you <laughs> how strong this is. Now that goes to the reinforcement that they have, the stainless steel underneath in the undercarriage that I showed you earlier. Also, you'll see more of that on my factory tour video. So it's not just there at the step, but it's all the way along. It's just, I'm telling you, do this on the other B vans. <laughs> it does not compare. So you'll notice as I open the store, I'm just gonna, pull it out, it's gonna open automatically, and my power step's gonna come out. Again, this is added by Gretsch. Super sturdy, plus my whole foot fit, my both feet <laughs> fit on the step, which is really nice. A lot of times as you're coming out of B vans, you have to navigate the step and be so careful that you get a full foot on it so that you don't slip out, so I do love that. Now you have the Firefly control panel here that pretty much controls everything in the coach. You can also download that to your phone, super easy to pair. And then you can do it all here at your fingertips on your phone. So I can go ahead and extend my awning. So now I have the Fiamma 
awning, fully extended, nice big shade area that it gives us. And then I can go to my app and I can turn on my lights on the awning. So I can turn them on at full brightness. Now, anytime you see the up and down arrow on your panel on your phone or on the control panel on the Firefly panel, that means you can dim those lights. So I can hold and dim. Now they've gone dim or I can hold it and bring it back to full brightness. And we've got the porch lights just above me so you can make a really nice area um, in the evening or for your tailgate, however you wanna use this space. The awning also comes standard with a shake or wind sensor. So I've got my colleague off camera here that's gonna shake the awning and you'll just see it automatically retract. Now, I never like to leave my awnings out unless I'm outside in this space. Um, as you know, I'm here in California. We've got a big windstorm going on today and I wouldn't feel comfortable if I wasn't next to the van having the awning out. Even with the sensor, you never want to have a big gust of wind come up and take that awning away. So to close the door, I'm just gonna pull on the handle. My step is gonna go in, unless I've powered that to be off so that it stays out. So that goes in. Now, sometimes these vehicles are so airtight, the way that Gretsch builds them, sometimes when you bring that door in, it's sort of pressurized inside the cabin there, and it may not feel like it shuts all the way, and it may just be extended out just a little bit right here. So if that does happen, don't push here. I suggest that you open up a vent, open the front door, and it will, it will allow that door to fully close all the way shut. So here's our engine exhaust. Again, Gretsch has rerouted that. It doesn't go out the rear of the coach, it comes out the side, and we got to see that in the undercarriage part of the first part of the video. Then I want you to check out the windows. So this is really nice. Gretsch has taken out the uh, windows that come with the raw chassis, and then they've added these windows that actually open here on the bottom. So that's really nice. You can sleep in the back. If you're up in the mountains, you can have some beautiful mountain air to go to sleep with. I love that option. Then back here, we've got the access panel to our 110 outlets, and that just clips and holds up there. So you've got your two 110 outlets. Your cable outlet here. And then next to it, we have the air suspension override. So say that you want to lower your suspension, you can do that while you're camping. You can go over here and let air out. Or if you're having compression um, compressor issues, you can put air into the system here. So as I come around the back, you'll see at the very top, we've got the rear camera and then the brake light just below that. Then we've got the lights here to the side. At the bottom, we've got our parking um, sensors. And then right behind this panel here, there are actually a couple screws you've got to take out to access the hitch, but you've got a 5,000 pound hitch. So if you want to tow something, um, you know, small car or whatever, or your toys, no problem doing that um, here. So with the doors fully open, you can see how nice this is finished out. Again, luxury, beautiful craftsmanship. Everything looks, it's very automotive. Everything is finished. Um, now behind this panel here is where you're going to have your lithium batteries. And if you want to see where those are situated and how they're um, inside the van, just check out my factory tour video because you can see this all raw. Then inside here, you've got a disconnect here. Now, a lot of people think that's for your batteries. That's the disconnect for your batteries. That is not the case. That's actually the disconnect for your Xantrax 3000 pure sign inverter. So you want to make sure <laughs> that you're, you're not thinking you're turning off your batteries when you hit that disconnect. If you have that disconnect off, then when you do plug in your coach, you're not going to be charging your batteries and nothing's going to work inside. Um, also, another thing that I love that Gretsch does is that they give you diagrams of everything. So if you're that kind of person that wants to know where all the wires go, how everything's installed, you can, do, you can see that right here. You can also get more of those diagrams off the website. You've got the two D-rings, one on each side in the rear compartment here. And then I just wanna note just a little uh, inverter care. You don't wanna pack things too tightly back here. You've got these fans, you wanna make sure those inverters can breathe so that they work their best. 
Some more cool features is the fact that we have our power shade and a power screen here at the back of the coach. So I can go to my app and I can just go to the power screen, hold the button down. So again, if you are in the mountains and you want to have a nice cross breeze, you can put the screen down here in the back, put the screen down at the front doors or open up those windows that they've given you, give some nice airflow through the through your van. Then we can take out the blackout screen. So it's white on the back side, but it is this gray color on the inside. So now with the shade down, it's gonna be nice and dark inside because it's blackout on the other side of the shade. Um, and then there's dual purpose for the shade. <laughs> so a lot of customers will use this as a movie screen so they can um, you know, put out the awning, they can set up the uh, projector and put the movie right here on the screen. So that's pretty cool. So one of the first things I noticed when I came up and saw my first Gretsch B-Van were the no cutouts, especially on the driver's side. Typically there's, I mean, three, four, five cutouts along this side here. You'll see that there are no cutouts. And then I love that they put their wet bay basically is right behind this panel. So it's not down here. You're not almost laying on the ground to do all the dirty work here. <laughs> you actually do most of it right from here, which is really nice and it clips up so it will stay up and it gets better because now say I'm hooking up everything and it's dark. I can go to my lights here, go to compartment lights, hit those on and look at that. It's all lit for me. So nice and easy and it's not on the ground. <laughs> I love it. So here we've got our potable water fill. So if you need to fill that way, um, if you're not you know, connected to where you can connect to city water, that's where you'd fill your tank. You can also sanitize your tank from here as well. Then you've got your city water connection here. You're hot and you're cold and you can connect your shower hose here. So then we have another favorite of mine. This is for your waste hose or your macerator hose. This is an auto retract. So I'll show you that in just a second, but I love that button. And then your pump here for your macerator, your gray valve and your black valve and your cable input. And then we have our 30 amp connection here. And then we go down here, unlock that there. Nice secure lock by the way too. And then we can just hook that up here. This is where we've got our sewer outlet connections here. So I can pull out my connector here for our macerator. And then when we're all done doing the dirty work, we can just hit the button right here and put it right away. Super easy. The black tank flush here. And then I also want to let you know that tank sizes on this are 26 for your freshwater tank, 27 for your gray tank, and 13 for your black tank. Now just beyond this, we have the exhaust for our timber line. That's going to be our on-demand hot water system and furnace for inside the B-Van. Again, it's weird for me because there's nothing else on this side of the coach. It's just so clean. Now you're probably wondering where the fuel fill is. So I'm just going to open up the door here, right inside there. We've got the diesel fuel fill for our 24 gallon diesel fuel tank. Now that we've checked out the outside, let's go and check out the inside. So I'm just going to pull the door a little bit. It's going to open, step comes out. I'm going to show you how nice and strong this step is. I can bounce on it and the van bounces a little bit, but that step's not moving at all. Now notice too, before I step in, the beautiful finish out of the entry step. I know that sounds silly, but when you're out shopping, look at these details. Stainless steel panel here, nicely finished off. Um, beautiful. And if you wanna see what's below that floor, what makes up the floor, there's a three quarter inch foam and then three quarter inch honeycomb. Again, go to my factory tour video because you can see this as we go down the line and you really get insight into how this quality, super luxury coach is built. As I step inside, um, again, if it's a beautiful day outside, you're gonna wanna enjoy the outdoors. So you're just going to grab it, pull it across. It's just that easy. 
no more bugs. And now I get to enjoy the beautiful outdoors and in my lounger inside. <laughs> Right when you step in, you've got your D-ring here and across the way over here. So if you need to secure any items, you can do that. And then you have your fire extinguisher. That's great um, because you can easily get to it from outside or inside. Also, make sure you go and check out my Protang fire suppression system. We can give you a custom quote for your van. And then look at the aluminum extruded step nose that they've taken from their shuttle buses and put into the B van. And then we've got the anti-skid uh, material right here. So it's screwed in underneath. Again, you're not gonna see an exposed screw. They just finished this off so nicely. Obviously, if they put it in their buses, then thousands and thousands of people can come in and out and that's gonna look the same. Notice the trim that they finish off their walls with just the attention to detail is so um i mean they just think of everything and it just adds to this luxury fill with this b van so welcome to the inside of the lounge floor plan um, now this will seat nine people and sleep two now when i say that it seats nine people that means that there's seat belts for nine and those are all fmvss rated seat belts so you're going to be secure bring your loved ones along you're going to have a great time in this luxury coach so in addition to the nine seat belts these front two chairs in the lounge floor plan have the child safety tethers so if you reach down into the seat right in here you can fill those two latches so they're going to be nice and secure so if you want to take those precious grandchildren along with you they will be protected in these seats as i go through the interior of this coach i noticed noted it a little bit on the outside but mr gretch has been in the automotive industry for over 40 years that's in building high-end um, limos and buses and shuttle buses so he is very much has a keen sense of um, quality and craftsmanship in his work um, his eye he'll notice something right away <laughs> if it's not just right so as I go through this you'll notice those you know little things special attention to detail that Gretsch does like no one else um, their cabinetry is beautiful they make this in-house um, we've got the radius corner here on the cabinets. We've got the solid surface. Again, the flooring, you can just, you can pour water on this floor. It's not going to seep in. You can wipe it right off. Um, you've got the honeycomb flooring below that. So it's super lightweight and then foam below that. Um, everything they do is just quality. So even if you notice the side walls, they're nice and firm fiberglass walls here at behind the padded vinyl and then you go to the windowsill the fit and finish is very automotive filling and then as you get down below the window covering here you've got the wall board you've got a quarter inch of the honeycomb again so insulation really strong very lightweight um, it's just like no other b band along with the wall construction uh, this is a fully insulated B van. So ceiling, walls, even uh, Gretsch takes off the front cap here and insulates behind it and then puts the headliner back in. So I'm telling you, this is going to, you know, stay warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, and just sound barrier as you're going down the road gonna be nice and quiet so i can't wait for the test drive now right in front here we have a 24 inch smart tv now you're only going to be able to hear this tv through the wireless headphones so that way it's not going to distract the driver um, someone can be watching this tv up here and then someone else could be watching the tv in the back so that's nice to have that option as we go around we've got storage here and again, everything that Gretsch does, we've got really nice hinges. I'm gonna pull on this, I'm gonna move it, it doesn't rattle. We've got the uh, aluminum extruded uh, portion here at the bottom. So again, nice, sturdy, and then it's all powder coated. So it's beautiful, you know, goes along with the um, cabinets. And then everything is nice and lined inside and again, just super strong. Remember that all these cabinets are attached into steel, so they're not gonna move, they're not gonna rattle. Very strong. 
As we go over here, let's talk about the items that we have in here. So this is the solar charge controller. This is going to let you know what kind of amps you're bringing in off your solar panels. Um, you can also Bluetooth into this and then you can have that read out on your phone as well. Um, a USB charging port here. Just below that, we've got the Sony Blu-ray DVD player. Then just below your Blu-ray DVD player, you've got storage area here. Also, it's pre-wired. Um, if you want to add a satellite system, you can connect that right here. And again, like I said, everything has its place and you can just push that up there, put it away if you're not using it. Just above the Blu-ray player, we have the over the air antenna. So if you turn that on, you've got the over the air um, stations that you can latch on to. If you turn it off, then you're going to be getting it from your cable um, outlet. In the middle here, we have our tim Timberline control panel. So we're going to turn this on and we've got two heating elements. We have our diesel uh, fire fuel element. And then we have our element that we can use only when we're plugged into shore power. So you can turn that on and it really is not going to do anything unless you're plugged in. Turn that on and then you can set your temperature here and just move that up and you can hear it just slightly. I can hear it turn on just a little bit, set your temperature. Now, if you want to have a more efficient water heater, you can hit this button right here and you'll have better efficiency for 30 minutes. So if you're planning on taking a shower, you want to go ahead and have that on. Once you're not using the shower, take that off. And then this is going to, you know, you can set up the brightness, your sleep mode, fan speed, your clock, um, service information. This is your limitation of heating duration. So if you want your heat to stay on for six hours, you can set it right there. If you want it on for two days, you can set it right there. Let's say that you are concerned about your um, van getting too cold and you want to just keep it on indefinitely, you can go to the infinity right there and it's going to stay on until you change it right here. Now I've rotated the captain's chairs around so you can see you have a nice area here for four people. You also have a table option, so I'll show you where that stores in a little bit. Um, but this is really easy. This is what it mounts into right here. And again, this is firmly mounted um, with a stainless steel mount that's underneath the floor, so it's not going to go anywhere. Now, this is the trick. If this little lever here is too close, it's not going to lock in. So you might want to make sure it's just extended out just a little bit. Then you take that, you fit it right into the spot there and then you start turning it now look at that nice and strong then i'm going to go ahead take my tabletop here and just put that right on top now i've got a great workspace table where we can have some treats and snacks and again you can rotate that to whatever position works best for you and your guests. Then when it's time to take it out, just pop the top right off. You can push this lever in while you start to untwist your base. And you can see that it's in there nice and strong. And I take it out and go put it away. And then I've got all this walking space. So right here, we've got our floor light. So you can turn those off 100% if you don't want them on, but they're really nice at night. Say you have to get up to go to the bathroom. They sense movement and they'll come on. They'll stay on for six minutes and then they'll turn themselves off if they don't um, see any motion. So that's a nice little safety feature. Get you around your van safely. Then we've got a little storage pocket here just above that. This is one of those things that I love that you don't get in most B vans. Cup holders for the area back here. Nice place to put your drink, your coffee cup. And then we've got our two USB outlet charging ports here. 
Just above our cup holders, we've got the nice big window here. We've got a power shade. And just above that, we've got our reading lights and the accent lights. Those can be controlled on your phone or on the panel. And then all your shades are power. So again, that's the first that I've seen that in a B van. So you can go to your app and you have a master button where you can take all the shades down at once, put them all up at once, or you can just do that individual shade and just hit the button once and down comes the shade. So right here by the door, we've got a nice big window again. I can use my power button um, to bring the shades down here. Now this shade is only going to work when the door is closed. If the door is open, that shade's not gonna come down. So I can go ahead and just do this slide door, shade down. or you can stop it, just hit the middle button, stop it halfway if you're just trying to block a little bit of the sun or hit the button, take it up all the way. And another little button that you need to be aware of is when you're inside the coach, easy way to open and close the side door here is just with this button here. So hit the button, it's gonna open up and hit it again. Closes it, as, closes it up nice and easy. So behind the chair here, we have the table, uh, the lagoon table. So this you can use in the back, or you can also store the table that goes here in the front, right in the same space. They're the same size, they just have different ways that they connect um, for use. So again, great storage, easy to get to for the lagoon table or your other tabletop. So now let's go over all the functionality of the Firefly panel here. So first thing on this panel, you've got your battery on and off. So this is basically to power the house. So as soon as you walk into the coach, you can turn that on. This is not the batter, the main battery disconnect button. And then this is the button for your step on the slide door. So once I'm camping, I don't want that step to go in and out every time I open and shut the slide door. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off once I'm camping. That way it will come out, it will stay extended. Um, there is a, if I go to leave and turn on the ignition, it's gonna bring that step in automatically. So even, it's, even though it's in the off position, the step is still going to retract. That's just gonna save the motor on that step. So I go ahead and always Turn it off once I'm once I'm settled. All right, so I'm going to go to my home page here, and it's going to allow me to extend and retract the ottomans, which are the back here. So if I want to make that into a bed, I can do that right here. So I can extend them. You can see the ones coming out, and then I can extend the next one. Now I'm going to go ahead and take down the whole back sofa. So I'm going to take that down. And how easy is that? so sweet or i like this option too i can lay that back put something on the tv have a foot rest just really nice or we can take that all the way back up so so easy to get ready for the evening just by the push of a button of course this is always a favorite button of mine all lights on all lights off so i can easily turn everything on and off push of a button. Then we've got the awning we can extend and retract from right here. This is going to give us the levels of our tanks. So our fresh tank, gray and black. We can turn our water pump on here. And this is our tankless heaters. So when I was underneath the chassis, I showed you those tank heaters on your uh, freshwater tank and on your gray tank. For those to come on and work properly when you're in a cold situation, you have to have that button on. With it on, that's not gonna turn those tank sensors on right now. Only if it gets cold enough that it senses they need to be on, now they can turn on and off, but that has to be lit. And then we've got the level of our house batteries, which is 12 point, or 13.2 volts. Next screen is our lights. So again, we've got that master light on and off, and then we've got all the lights, our ceiling lights, galley lights, reading lights. Now your reading lights, you can turn them on and off here. 
as long as you've got that button on, then your reading light over here, you can push and turn that off and push and turn it on. You can also, you know, direct that light wherever you need it for the best um, visibility with the lights. And we've got our floor light again. You can turn that floor light on so that those um, motion lights will work when you get out of bed at night um, or you can keep that off and then they won't come on. You've got your bathroom light, your porch light, awning lights, accent lights. So um, you can see those lights turning on and off. Now where you see again the arrows up and down, that means that you can dim that light. So you're going to just push and hold to the dimness that you like it and then release. Your compartment light, that's that light outside. So you can see when you're in your wet bay what you're doing. The outside step. Ceiling accent, I've waited till now to show you because I love it. So I don't have it on right now. I'm gonna turn that on. Look at that little blue light, kind of, um, I think it's NIRVC blue, National Indoor RV Center blue. <laughs> um, actually, it just gives you that really like luxury fill inside the coach. And that's a dimmable light as well. So you can turn that light down a little bit or bring it back up. And we've got our cabinet light. So that's for inside the cabinets, which is really nice. Again, most B-Van um, manufacturers don't give you that option right there. So now we are to our electrical settings. So right now uh, the inverter is on, so power source inverted, and then you can go to your EMS load. Now, one of the things I wanna talk about before I move on, your power source. Uh, if you are plugged in to shore power, it's gonna show it here, but this screen is going to look different and it's going to give you an option to say whether you're plugged in to 15, 20, or 30 amp. And it's important that you select which one you're plugged into so that this EMS load works correctly. Um, depending on what you're plugged into, it's gonna be, will determine how many you know things you can use at one time, like your AC, um, your cooktop, and your microwave. Uh, if you're only into, let's say, 15 amp, you may only be able to use one of these at a time. So this screen will look different. So right now, the inverter is on. Um, you can see that we're taking uh, power from the house batteries to the inverter to the breaker box. And then we've got our inverter enabled and there's no charge. Now you can go into this next setting lots more that you can do here. You can get more in-depth information on these different panels from Gretsch RV's website and then go to their YouTube channel. Um, and David Reagan does great videos as far as individual little portions of this and other um, things throughout the RV. So now we're gonna go to our climate control. This is where you can set your climate here. This is where you can control your fans. So you can turn the power them on and lift them up or bring them down. And then you can set the speed. Also, there is a rain sensor on your fan. So if it starts to rain, it will shut it and turn that off for you. So now you've got it on cool, depending on what the temperature is, it will kick on or not. Now I've got it on auto. Um, essentially auto can be your off button too. If I turn my fans on high or low, they're going to stay on either high or low until I turn them off or click them back into auto and then it will work according to the temperature that you have set on the panel. Then we have our shade button here, so or shade panel and we've got our master shade so we can go all shades down, all shades up. That's going to be a favorite right there or we can do individual windows or doors. So we've got our slide door, um, passenger side middle, passenger side rear, very easy to um, navigate this screen. And then you've also got your power screen in the back that you can put that down from right here as well. Next button is our settings. So this is where you can kind of customize your screen, the brightness of the screen. You can also turn on auto dimming. Now when I have this on, that means that this screen will eventually time out. It won't stay on all the time or while we're sleeping. You can also put it into cleaning mode, which will make kind of lock this screen so you can wipe it down and you're not gonna uh, turn, you know, click any of the buttons. 
Then we go over here to our temperature. This is where you can, again, customize from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So if I go ahead and change it to Celsius here, then when I go to my climate, you'll see that it's changed, but it's only changed on this panel, not the one in the back. So you have to change it on each panel if that's where you wanna go. And I go back and put it in Fahrenheit. Then this right here is super important. So I could, I told you that almost all the functions that you can do on this flyer, Firefly system, you can do off your phone. To do that, you'll go to this page. You're going to download the Mira app, scan this. Then once it's scanned, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna give you different Mira IDs. So when you see this ID, you're gonna go ahead and click on that one on your cell phone. Um, then it will ask you for an authentication code. You're gonna go ahead and put your pin in here and then it will connect to this and you're gonna love having that, uh, the ability to use your phone for all the functions that you can do or most of the functions you can do right here. Then you've got the time setting, so you can change that. Also, you've got your network diagnostics. Now, if there was something, if there was a fault of some kind that you needed to know about, when I would come to this page, there would be a red triangle alerting me. I can hit that. It's gonna let me know. It's gonna take me right to network diagnostics. As we move into the kitchen, first of all, I wanted to point out the nice storage that we have in the kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and open all these cabinets again. Got these nice hinges spring loaded on the cabinet. So they go up and stop. They're going to stay up. They're not going to rattle. They're nice and strong, just like I showed you on the other side. But great space here. Again, automotive look and fit and finish on the cabinets. And then you can lock them shut just with the push of a button. Right below the cabinets, we've got the reading light for the passenger here. Again, you can push that on and off and direct that. Then we have the two 110 outlets, more LED lighting throughout, and then we've got the beautiful solid surface countertop. Nice big stainless steel sink here, nice and deep with the residential faucet. And we've got the faucet on the little um, cord here which is nice when you've got these square sinks that you're able to get into the corners i like that i've got one at home so i know <laughs> and then we have the induction cooktop so induction cooktop you can use this with any pan that a magnet will attach to if the magnet will attach to the pan then it will work on your induction cooktop uh, you can also go to sam's club costco and buy a full set of pans that will work on this really nicely. Now, if you go with the Strata that's not the lithium ion package, then this is going to um, be a LP gas stove here. Below the sink, we've got a little flip top here so we can put our sponges or our brushes there. And nice drawer again, nice and sturdy, strong drawers. And just below that, we've got our microwave convection and air fryer. Three in one. So that's really nice. And below that, another big drawer. Next up, we have our refrigerator and freezer. So I do love that nice big sink. The next thing that I love is the cover for the sink. So I can put dirty dishes in there and no one sees them. <laughs> but what I really like is that I need, if I need more prep space, I can just put the sink cover down. And I've got that Gretsch thinks of everything. They even put little felt pads in the corners. So this fits nice and tight. Um, so I'm going down the road, that's not gonna rattle. So as I step into the bathroom, a couple of things to talk about. First of all, this door. Um, this door is made out of fiberglass and the honeycomb, just like you have at the bottom of the wallboard there. So it's really strong and light. It's not gonna warp. Obviously, you're gonna take showers in here. Um, no worries about that warping because there's no wood there. And then we've got this nice mirror. We also have a little hook for a towel, which I love. You can pull it shut here or you can hang another towel or a little hand towel there. And then you've got the handle. So 
As you come inside, you've got a full fiberglass enclosure. So again, you're gonna be able to shower, not worry about it. You've got the aluminum extrusion that's power coated. So that's on the inside and then it wraps around to the outside. So it's just seamless. Again, that, that quality, that craftsmanship, even in, in the bathroom. And then another favorite is you've got a little mirror here so that you can push that in and then lock it in when you're not using it so again that's not going to rattle when you're going down the road and then you've got your shower shower so you have your sink here then when you need to take a shower you're just going to go ahead and pull that up there control there of course bring that back down now right here we've got a clothesline so a lot of people they may not like using the shower maybe they're going to use the shower at the park um, but this is a great place to hang clothes. So you're just going to turn this to um, the left to unlock it. And then you can pull that shower line across. Hook it. That's a really nice feature. And then it just retracts back and lock that in place. And then of course we've got our shower curtain. Just pull along here. Ceramic toilet with a pedal control. And then we've got the toilet paper cover here so that it doesn't get wet. The other thing I love is a window in the bathroom. So that's really nice. This is the only shade in the van that's not powered. So go ahead and pull that down. It's spring loaded. Just set it right there and then push it down back up. Easy as that. Gretsch engineered the bathroom window so that you can't tell it's a window from outside the van. And then right above me at the very top of the ceiling, we've got a fan here. So you've got some extra ventilation for this room. So now I've moved back into the bedroom area or another lounge area. Really nice. We've got great storage back here. We've got our little black box with all of our manuals in it. <laughs> Rear storage compartment. So this is where we can store that other tabletop. This is where you store the table leg for the front table and it just clips right in so it's secure and it's not gonna roll around. I like can the tabletop and then we've got the leg um, which clips into place there for our lagoon table, which we can put in right here. Now, when I go to put this on, you're going to see um, a little magnet here and a magnet there. So when I slide this in, I'm gonna line those up. And then I can go ahead and tighten it. So what that does right there, that's going to disconnect basically the power to this power ottoman. So when this lagoon table is installed and that ma those magnets are touching, it's not gonna allow this ottoman to be powered forward. Then I'm gonna take the tabletop and I'm just gonna put that on there. And then you just tighten it up. And then you can swivel the table around to wherever you need it. So if I want to work here, watch TV there, this is great. Or maybe someone here wants to do that. You could just make it work for the space. So lots of options with this tabletop. You can also bring that table around, push it in there and kind of have it line up with your kitchen. So you have a little bit more prep space. Maybe you want to put some of the food items down here while you're cutting and chopping up on the countertop. And then we have two more compartments. So nice amount of storage here in the back room. And then just above that storage, we've got our fire alarm. And then below the sofa, we have the uh, CO2 alarm there. So under the passenger side ottoman, we've got some important controls. So first of all, at the very top back here, this is your battery disconnect for your lithium ion batteries. So if you are putting your coach in storage and you wanna make sure everything is disconnected, then you would go ahead and push and hold those buttons to turn those off. Just below that, you have the sea level two tank monitor system, which is um, basically, you're getting that same information there 
up on the firefly screen. So behind this panel here are the brains for your firefly system. And then right over here um, to the left is your Mira app module. On the driver's side, underneath the ottoman, we have the fuse panel. So this is gonna be all your 110 um, breakers. And this is your 12 volt fuses here. So here is the remote um, motorized house power switch. So you never turn it off here. You use the rocker switch when you first walk into the coach. And just above that, we have a battery fuse box. So we have a second Firefly panel. So you've got the one up front, one in the back, and one on your phone. So lots of options there. Then we have our 24 inch TV and we can just release the TV here so that we can swivel that out for the best viewing angle, wherever that may be. And you've got your JBL sound bar just below the TV. So this is a smart TV and then it just pushes back and locks right into place. So we are in the Strata with the lithium ion package. So right here, we haven't really talked about that. What does that mean? That means that you have 1260 amp hours of power. How long is that gonna last you? Depends on what you're using and how you're using it. Right now, I can download this app onto my phone, which I've done here. At the rate, at the power that I'm using currently, I'm at 93% charged and time re remaining is two days and 16 hours. Now that would change drastically if I were to turn on the AC unit. Um, so people always wanna know how long will, the bat will this last? Well, it all depends on what you're using, just like your cell phone. So if I've got, you know, 20 apps open, it happens, 20 apps open, using different things, my battery is gonna go down a lot faster. Um, the lower it gets, the longer it's gonna take to charge. Same thing with your lithium ion batteries. And so there are three ways that you can charge your batteries. You can do it by driving the van. You can do it by your solar panels or shore power. Now, driving is the quickest way to charge it, but also remember that you can also charge it just in the camper or say you're off, you know, off grid camping. Um, you can just turn on your engine and it will charge it in idle as well. Just not as fast as it will when you're driving. The Strata comes standard with the Dometic 13.5 BTU AC unit. And so you're gonna be nice and cool here in the back. And then the other bonus about this, in case you are at a you know, beautiful um, campground with a nice climate, you've got windows on both sides. So you can open those and have a cross breeze, which is a great option. And then you've got the screen in the back. Between the ottomans and the sofa on each side, we've got two 110 outlets, USB outlet and USB-C. Just below that, we've got a cup holder. Again, we've got the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take these ottomans down, make this into a bed. But one of the things I wanna show you before I do that, again, one of those details that I just love. So these aren't Velcroed, they're not snapped in feels like they're just totally in place. Now remember, I also have seat belts in these ottomans too that are um, totally tested, pull tested, safe. And then if I want, I can just lift this up. You can see that it just slides into place. So I love that. So check out the nice big bed. I've went ahead and put the side cushions in. So nice bed memory foam mattress very comfortable and if you don't want the armrests you can just go ahead tuck them in the back or put them wherever you want them but they easily remove and then when you're ready to put them back in they just slide back into place um, also you've got your push button reading lights you've got them here and in the back here as well your speakers You've got your cubby spaces there and two USB charging outlets on each side. So today I'm lucky enough to have both models on the Strata. So we just went through the lounge. Now I wanna take you on a tour through the tour. So with the tour, you uh, eliminate the two seats behind the captain's seats, but you do get this big cabinet here for storage. So you have a wardrobe area there. You can hang items here. You've got shelves below, so a lot of storage there. You also get the lagoon table. 
um, just like you did in the lounge, but you just have one table. So you can put that here at the very front. So you can use that table outside, say if you're cooking out, or you can leave it in here. You can extend your countertop here. And the other thing that you get with the tour floor plan is a bigger galley, bigger kitchen area here and a bigger refrigerator. So let's go over the refrigerator first because I know that's important to all of us. So nice size refrigerator and freezer. Oh, we even got our little ice tray, guys. <laughs> I love those little mini ices. And then this is another favorite is you basically have a drink drawer. So you can just fill that with drinks. It's not a freezer, but that's really nice because I know half the time that's what half of my refrigerator is, is, is cold drinks or cold water. So that's really nice. Then we come into the kitchen area. Now, just so you know, the cabinet space in the tour is going to be exactly the same as it was in the lounge. So above the kitchen is going to be the same all the way into the back. It's going to be exactly the same. Um, you just get more counter space here. So you have uh, the same sink, the same faucet, and then this is a generator LP unit. So you have a 2.5 Onan generator, and then you have an LP tank. So you're going to have a gas cooktop instead of the induction cooktop that we have in the lounge model that you saw earlier today. Then you've got this nice counter space here. Again, you're going to have the microwave. Um, convection air fryer combo and then you are going to have a little bit more space down below in your kitchen area so lots of room for pots and pans anything you need to take along on your adventure you're going to have the space for it below your microwave convection air fryer you've got two nice size drawers And then below the countertop here, we've got the flip top, just like we did in the lounge, but then you get another drawer. So a lot of storage and a lot of space here with this nice, big, beautiful, solid surface countertop. Also, you get another little flip down countertop here or flip up, excuse me. So you can turn um, your captain's chair around. You've got a little table there. So that's a nice option. We're going to move back into the bathroom. It's almost identical to the one in the lounge. It's just a little bit bigger because it's straight versus being on that curve because you have the two chairs in front. The back bedroom slash living area is exactly the same as it was in the lounge. Same storage compartment, same cubbies, um, lights, you name it. It's all exactly the same. With the generator and propane tank option, then you get the two one outlets, the cable outlet, the quick connect for a gas grill, and then you've got the fill um, for your 10 gallon propane tank. So if you wanna see which floor plan is best for you, make sure you come out to National Indoor RV Centers. You can take one for a test drive. You can spend as much time in here as you want. Just get comfortable and confident with your purchase. All right, so we're finally here to the cockpit. Let's go over a few things. First of all, I want to note that Gretsch takes the factory seats, they take them out, they reline them with their ultra leather. It's nice, it's smooth. Um, also, it matches the rest of the interior, so it's consistent all the way through. Again, that high end luxury fill. Right below my seat, I've got the lumbar control. So you can adjust that so it's just right. Then below that, We've got the fuses. Also on the seat, you've got the little seat extender there. So it gives you a little bit more comfort, comfort if you're taller. And then right below where my feet would be right here is where we've got our chassis batteries. Here's the lever for the hood to release the hood. And here's the lever to turn your seat around so you can take your captain's chairs into the house part of the coach. You also get the WeatherTech upgraded uh, floor mats. So our front door, we've got a little pocket here to help us shut the door. We've got our window controls and our mirror controls. 
just below that, we've got our seat controls. So this has memory seats, so you can go ahead and put it in place and then press and hold to secure or lock in that spacing on your seat. You have three buttons. I would do it for driver one, driver two, and three, I would make that um, put the seat in position where it's easiest to rotate it around. So that's really easy to do. Then you can just go to three, rotate the seat around simply. Then you can bring your backrest up or so forward and back, and then you can tilt up, tilt down, get that right in the perfect position and then lock it in the memory. Here we have our heated seat button and you've got a high, medium and low setting there. And then we've got our unlock and lock. Just below that, we have a big cup holder, storage space and more storage space below. Here at the dash, we have our light control. So we've got it on auto. You can turn it to your running lights or your headlights. And then you've got your fog lights. And then this is a rear um, alert light, light on the back. So just one side on the driver's side, your red light will light up. And then this is how you can adjust the brightness and dimness of the dash. Here's our windshield wipers. So you can turn them on and off, but remember they are rain sensing windshield wipers. So they'll turn on automatically for you. And they do have the windshield wiper fluid in the actual windshield wiper. So if I go ahead and push them, and that really saves on the amount of windshield wiper fluid that you're using. Turn signal right and left. And then you have the paddles if you want to shift manually. So shift up and shift down. And this is where we go into park, reverse, neutral, or drive. We have the leather wrap steering column. And then I'm just gonna go to my home button here. And now I can scroll through information on my screen. So I can do my miles per hour, trip miles, start a new trip. This is going to show me my driving habits, current consumption, and the miles left till I need to refill. Then I can go here and I can scroll through all the same functions that I have over here on my big dash. So just for example, we're going to go into service here. This is where I can scroll down to get my DEF level. So this is where you'll monitor that. I have 703 days until I need service again. My engine oil level and my particle filter. It will show me how full that is until I need to burn that off. All the other functions I'll demonstrate over here. Then we've got our cruise control button. So we turn it on and off here. We can set it here, resume, cancel, and then we can increase while we're in cruise control or decrease while we're in our speed while we're in cruise control. And then this is gonna be our lane assist, our following distance. You can adjust that while you're driving. Got your horn here. Then we can go to our home button. And then I'm a, I can scroll through my options here with my fingertips while I'm still holding the steering column. So I can go through each of these functions. So we'll start with navigation. I can click in, where to, set your destination, mute it, go to the settings, go back, go to my phone, connect Bluetooth my phone to the van, radio, information, so again, my engine, consumption, operator's manual, then media, I, no devices connected right here, but this is where I can connect my music, etc. Also, I can do use my apps or add any apps that will work with the car, and then I can go to my settings. And then I've got my quick access button, assistance, and here you can see my camera and parking, traffic sign assist. So it's going to give me a visual and audible alarm. If I click there, just visual. So 
can click up there. Lane keep. So that will keep me in my lane. I can turn that on or off or just have a warning. Active brake assist. Early, medium, late or off. Attention assist. So do I want that sensitive? It will basically say I need to pull over that I that seem like I'm drowsy. Just kind of wakes you up if you're not being super attentive while driving. And then blind spot assist. Then you can go to vehicle, lights, and system. So here you can do your display, custom, customize that the way you like it. Controls, voice assistant, audio, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, time and date, language. Basically just customize the screen that works for you. Then we have voice commands, volume of our radio, answer the phone, hang up the phone, mute, the quick mute button, and hey Mercedes. So you have a keyless remote. So if you want to go to accessory mode, you just hit one time. If you want to go ahead and start your van, then just put your foot on the brake and hold the button in, start, and to stop, foot on the brake. It's that easy. Just make sure that you've got your fob in a reasonable distance to the ignition. This is your warning light. That will come on if your step is out um, when you go to start the coach. So here we are at our big MBX screen. I've pretty much gone through all the buttons when I was demonstrating them on the dash, but the one thing that you can do that I didn't show, if you'd like to have quick access to your radio, then you can push that and you can pull that over and put it, maybe you want that first, or maybe you want your settings first. So press and hold and then just pull it over until you've got it where you want it and click. And it's as easy as that. Now we've got your, your fans for your AC and heat. Just below our screen, I've, we've got our cameras. See that we're in the nice clean factory here. Then our telephone. If we wanna make a call, we can connect a device here. We can pull up the navigation buttons really quick or we can pull up the radio really quick. Then we've got the volume control here. Back to our house mode. Again, mute or power right there. And quick button for our settings. And then we've got our search and seek for our radio. We've got great little pockets here for cell phones or miscellaneous items. And then below that, we've got the heat and cool control for our dash AC and heat and our fan control. So we have our auto, our AC controls, direction of where we want that airflow to go, our hazards, the max defrost for our front windshield, uh, recirculating the air, and then the defrost for our rear. This is where we can open the slide door. If it's open, there'll be a red light on in here. Cup holders, four cup holders. Under the cup holders, there's a reset for your fob. If you need to reset your fob because it's not connecting, you do that right there. At the very top of the dash, we've got a storage compartment for the driver and an additional cup holder, fan control. And then we've got another cubby with 12 volt receptacle, USB-C, so you can do like Apple CarPlay. Another USB-C, another USB-C charging port, and a wireless charging pad. Another fan control here, cup holder, and cubby compartment for the passenger. And another cubby compartment here for your book, your iPad, or even your map if you like to have a physical map like I do sometimes. Right below here on the passenger side is where your jack is located. Above the captain and co-captain, we have this nice storage area and of course our sun visor. And then in the center, we've got our reading lights or map lights, 
and then we've got the light where we can turn this off if we don't want the lights to come on when we open our doors. We've got the big all around reading light and then our passenger reading light. Here is for help with maintenance and this is our SOS button. Just beyond that, we've got a spot for our sunglasses. So we've got the sun blockout shades up for the front cab area. I'll show you a little trick on the side windows in just a second, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to put the front shade up. So you just lay it in the windshield here and then separate around the rear view mirror. Just bring that up and around, Velcros together, and flip down your sun visor to secure it into place. Then on your window, you've got a little help there. You've got a D for driver's side and a P for passenger side, so that you know that it goes into this window. So you're just going to get that into place. I like to open the door so that I can fit it in. And then you'll actually kind of shut part of it in the door to secure it into place. And now your front cap is all blacked out. So finally time to take the Strata Ion out for a test drive. So remember we've got the air suspension in this van. I think it's gonna handle beautifully, so let's go take it for a ride. All right, so I'm going to turn right here. When I put that blinker on, you can see down the full right side of the van, which just gives me that extra little sense of security and knowing where I'm going. All right, so let's hit the road. So this Mercedes-Benz comes standard with the adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, lane assist, um, road watch, so your, your, or traffic sign assist, sorry. Um, so many safety features packed into this that it's really easy to drive and I feel very secure. And this is nice, there's just some nice little bumps in the road there, you didn't even fill them with that air suspension, which was really great. So I'm in cruise control, easy to drive now. I can see in my front dash, measuring the distance of the cars in front of me. Also, my speed limit sign comes up, which is really nice. So, you know, haven't we all been driving and you're like, what's the speed limit? Because you're in a new area, not sure what it is. Well, you don't need to worry about that with Mercedes Drive Assist. So I'm driving down a busy California road here, and I always do the decibel reader, 58.6. Now that goes to the insulation in this coach, the honeycomb floor and sidewalls, the air suspension, all these things make this coach a dream to drive or this van a dream to drive. So luxurious, I thought I was in a coach. <laughs> this is such a quality build. It's nice and quiet, it's insulated. You've got this suspension. And on top of it all, Gretsch has a three-year warranty, three-year, 36,000 mile warranty. So that's amazing. That's how confident they are in their product. Okay, so we're heading up to some train tracks. Let's see how the air suspension feels as I go over these tracks. Wow, <laughs> barely even felt it, just a little bit of a, I mean, there's sound from train tracks, but um, really minimal uh, feel in the ride and drive of this, it's so, easy and so comfortable to drive. So what are you waiting for? Come to National Indoor RV Centers. We wanna put you in the perfect van for you. We want you to feel really comfortable with your purchase. This is a luxury item and we want you to take it for a test drive. We are happy to help you however we can. Uh, your van buying experience should be, a, should be a pleasurable one and we are here ready and willing to help you. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Strata Ion. Um, I'm sure you're wondering how much this luxurious coach would cost you. So current MSRP is $244,900. If you're wondering how much I can sell it to you for, make sure you give me a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We are ready 
and waiting to help you. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call. Remember, you can finance this for up to 20 years. So let's start your adventures today. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also go and check out my Gretsch factory tour video, my AIM Club video, and ProTank fire suppression system. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.